Farm roadways are an essential piece of infrastructure on most livestock farms, and in particular dairy farms. They help farmers in achieving high animal performance from pasture-based systems by aiding grassland management. Under new nitrates rules that have come into effect, there should be no direct runoff of soiled water from farm roadways to waters from the 1st of January 2021. The aim of the measure is to prevent runoff of sediment and nutrients from farm roadways, thereby protecting and improving water quality. Excess sediment getting into a watercourse can impact on the habitat of the riverbed. It can also bring with it excess nutrients such as phosphorus, which impacts on the water quality. Research on dairy farms in Ireland has shown that a dairy cow can deposit up to 8 litres of urine and manure on farm roadways each day. As a result, significant amounts of sediment, animal manures and urine are frequently observed to accumulate on the surface of these roadways. Because farm road surfaces tend to be mostly hard and compacted, much of this material simply sits on the road surface, where it can be washed off the road following heavy rainfall events. These new rules apply to all farmers who have farm roadways besides watercourses, rivers, drains or any feature that can carry water. Some key points to remember when constructing roadways. Camber the roadway away from the stream or drain using a crossfall of 1 to 25, thus diverting the runoff towards a field or a paddock. All new roads installed on farms beside watercourses or drains must be 1.5 metres back from the top of the bank from the watercourse or drain. Existing farm roadways running beside a watercourse that are already fenced do not require the 1.5 metre buffer margin. A good camber away from the watercourse is still required though. Moving paddock access more than 5 metres from watercourses or drains is also recommended to reduce the possibility of any sediment or nutrient entering that watercourse or drain. The runoff issues from roadways are extremely variable from farm to farm. Each farm is different and one needs to look at things like soil type, the stream and drain density that's on the farm, slopes on the farm, roadway condition and herd size when one is to consider a solution to preventing the runoff from farm roadways to watercourses and drains.